Okay, so we always start with the smallest uh, 4x objective. So you place your sample here, roughly center the, the view, and then start with the knob so that you can see it more or less detailed in your view of the camera. So after you found it, so this is the first slide and it is a simple squamosus epithelium, the lung epithelium. So you can scan through it on the lower magnification and if you found something then you can use bigger magnification like 10 or 40x. In this case we are going to use 10x and if needed we again try to refocus with a fine knob and scan through the hole. So finding the best view for yourself After proper fo focusing, you can start drawing it. And here you can see the single cells with nuclei and the cell wall. Again, this is the squamosus epithelial tissue. So again, we switch to the 4x and we can change the slide to the next one. Next we have simple cuboidal epithelium and now we can see everything that is needed for drawing and it is almost in the focus. Now we can switch to 10x or 40x to see the details and here you can see that these big voids, they are actually surrounded by epithelial tissue. And it is called cuboidal because every cell here is cubic. Again, when you find the best view, you can start drawing it. Switch to 4x again and take the third slide which is simple columnar epithelium and here you can see it with, uh, with no much detail so this is epithelial tissue that makes up the columns switch to 10 then switch to 40 find the best view and draw it. So as you can see here, these cells, they look like columns. That's why this is the simple columnar epithelial tissue. The slide number four, it is squamosus stratified epithelial tissue. And here you can switch directly to 10 or even higher magnification. And after you define the place that you want to draw, you can start drawing. So again, this is squamosus epithelial tissue and it is stratified. So you can see that there are patches of different tissue, or epithelial tissues. Again, when you stop, draw it. Next we have adipose tissue. And adipose means fat. So this is the fatty tissues. And this is the composition of the fatty tissues. So now we switch to 10x. And you have these huge cells 
that contain huge bubbles and these bubbles are filled with the fats. Find the best view for yourself and start drawing. Next we have the bone marrow. So you can see the cartilages here and after you define the place that you want to draw, you can start drawing. So between these trabeculas we have blood stem cells that produce all of our blood cells. Define the place and draw it. Next we have human blood. And the vast majority of these are erythrocytes and you can spend some time to find the neutrophiles which are the white blood cells Here you can see the intestines, small intestines of the human and as you can see we have this villi that show the surface of the absorption in intestines. And we can increase the magnification to see this trabecula. And as you can see, they are made up with the cells, column cells. You can start drawing them whenever you like the view. Next we have the section of the heart. These are fibers of your heart muscle and these are the smooth muscles. So when you like the view, you can start drawing. Okay, so here you can see the section of the cerebellum. So these are the neurons and the white tissues, the white substance are the axons, axons of the of these neurons. So when you are fine, you can start drawing them. This is the last 
slide that you are supposed to draw and this is the end of this lap.